I haven't done a vlog for several days now. Felt like I had nothing to say. Which is not the deal. The deal is I'm supposed to record a daily vlog. Whether or not I think I have something to say. The fact is I always have something to say, whether or not it's something that is worth your listening to is another question, but I definitely have something to say. Every day, even when I think I have nothing to say, which I suppose is as good a time as any to talk about why I'm doing these vlogs. Because someone with a very impressive psychological credentials, I would say, asked me just what on earth I'm trying to accomplish with these vlogs. So, why do I do these vlogs? First of all, it's a personal discipline. It's a practice of personal development. It's a challenge to myself to say something, even when I think I have nothing to say. I think it's Werner Earhart, who said that you need to live out there. That is, you need to live out in the world. Very often, we live in our heads. We live by what we think should be the way. Even worse, we live by what we think others should think about us. These are all in here, in the head theoretical. Some of it may be true, some of it may be false. But whether true or false, the things in our head remain in our head. They are not manifest in the real world. They provide no real value, therefore, to anyone. So, number one reason why I do these vlogs is to get out of my head. I do not know who, if any, is watching this vlog or my other vlogs, vlogs, video logs. It's such a hard word to say. But number one reason for doing this vlogs is to get out of my head, to get my words out there and on record. Number two reason for doing these vlogs, I guess it's narcissistic maybe. I think that I have something to say. And to be honest with you, I really do think that I have something to say that is of value to you. So, maybe that's narcissistic. A selfish reason. I feel like the world needs to hear the crap that is coming out of my mouth onto these vlogs to be shown to the world. I mean, YouTube is the number two search engine on the internet, second only to Google itself, and Google owns both. So that's a pretty big monster there, but I digress. So the second reason is that I feel that the world needs to hear what I have to say. <clears throat> And the third reason is that I think 
the world needs to hear what you have to say. So while it may seem narcissistic and self-important that I think I have something that the world needs that no one else can give, on the flip side of that is a selfless reason. I think, in fact, I know that you, whoever you are watching this, have something to offer the world that nobody else can offer the world. You have something to offer the world. So the number three reason is because the world needs to hear what you have to say. And this may be in words, in video, it may be words on paper. This may be music creation. This may be a mathematical breakthrough. This may be a painting, an oil, pastel, a watercolor. This may be a new car design. Cars are on my mind lately. This may be uh, being a parent of a whatever comes after a millennial. It could be anything, but it definitely is you. Number three, I do these things because you have something to give to the world that only you can give, and if you do not give it, it remains ungiven, and the world is so much poorer for that. I play the bass guitar very rudimentarily, just plucking on one string at a time. And at that time, many years ago, we had a bass guitar in church, which was unused because apparently nobody could play the bass. And I could play the bass very basically. So basic bass just plucking on one string at a time. Because once upon a time, a, an old friend of mine taught me how to play the scale, one octave of notes, on the bass guitar. So just with that one octave of playing on the bass guitar, I learned how to play the bass by playing the tonic notes of the chords on the chord sheet. That's it. So I started playing the bass guitar, very basically. <laughs> and lo and behold, someone else who thought that he was a basic bass guitarist realized that his, what in his mind was basic bass playing was better than my playing. And so... He realized that, hey, if Alpha can do it, I can do it. And so, this is the third reason that I do these crappy blocks. Because if I can do this, I know you probably can do something better. And you've been holding yourself back because you've been thinking, I can't do that. I can't make a nice video with opening titles and end credits, soundtrack and editing and whatnot, nice lighting and a good camera. You've been thinking, I can't do that, so I'm not going to do anything at all. But perhaps you come across this vlog that I'm doing right now, and this series of vlogs that I've been doing before this. I am literally holding my phone in my hand, sitting in my home studio, which is quite a mess, with my desk lamp as lighting, and I'm doing this vlog just because I can, and just because by the law of averages, you could probably do one better than this. But whether you actually can do one better than this or not is secondary to the point that you can do 
something like this. Maybe better, maybe worse, it doesn't matter, but you can do it. So why do I do these vlogs? First of all, as a personal development exercise to get out of my head, to get myself talking. Because if I don't talk, I could just live in my head very satisfied. Uh, I am a very comfortable introvert. I can sit anywhere by myself, you just leave me alone. Preferably with a pen and paper and that's bliss to me. So I have to do these things to get myself out there, to get myself in the flow of talking. And secondly, for that narcissistic reason that I believe I have something to offer to this world that no one else has to offer. And thirdly, for the selfless reason that I believe you have something to offer to this world that no one else can offer to the world. And if you do not give it, it remains ungiven. Simple as that. So as I do this, my hope for you is that you will go and put yourself out there. Whatever it is that you need to do. Do a crappy vlog like mine write crappy stories, do crappy artworks, whatever crappy thing you need to do, just do it. First of all, you probably realize it's not as crappy as you think. Secondly, you get better and better with each crappy thing you put out there until one day you become a master at it. And you probably will never come to the point where you feel like, yeah, I've arrived, I'm the master, I'm the best in the world. Because if you're an honest artist, you're going to keep improving. And no matter what stage you get to, you, you're going to see a higher level for yourself. So you will never feel that you have arrived. But that doesn't matter. What matters is that you produce, you create, you put yourself out there. So, all right. I'm looking for your crappy blog. Leave a comment and a link below if you have your crappy blog or crappy whatever that you like to share with me on this here crappy blog of mine. Thanks for listening again. And if you made it this far, you're amazing.